Good day to everyone. I'm Mad Wantamad and welcome to another video here at Marados channel. For today's video, we are going to do an update, a one month update of a decoupled aquaponic system somewhere here in uh, Quezon City. So this system is unique because it's a decoupled aquaponic system. So a decoupled aquaponic system has a RAS component separate from the hydroponic component on the other side. So to start our walkthrough, let's start with the RAS component over here. So follow me to the RAS component. So in our RAS component, we have our fish tank over here. So this is the made 1,200 liter conical bottom fish tank. So we have some commercial feeds over here. Let's see if the fish are hungry. Uh, these are a mixture of juvenile fingerlings and fingerlings, okay? So they're about an inch to two inches uh, long. So the fish tank is provided with dissolved oxygen by a compressor, by a compressor on the far side of the uh, garden. And it's delivered by an air manifold over here and an air valve and an air hose with an air stone. So we added a net here because the fish, uh, sometimes the fish will jump when there are uh, Spook when they are spooked with uh, some visitors or the people that are here in the garden, okay? Uh, because this is a conical bottom fish tank, all the waste of the fish will go to the center and be lifted in our solid lifting overflow over there, okay? So this is the bottom of the solid lifting overflow in the middle, and then it goes up there to a T. And now it goes now to our filter over here. So this is our filter. Let's let me remove our cover. Okay. It's a little heavy. So in our filter, it got, it now goes to our static, uh, to our radial flow chamber over here. So this is the radial flow chamber, and this is the static uh, media chamber. It's a static P03. PE03 uh, pellets and then from the static it will go to another radial stage and then from another radial stage it will now go to our MBBR or moving bed bioreactor so how do we maintain the static bed it's very easy to maintain no? okay I'll show you right now how do we maintain this first we turn off the flow of air in the moving bed and then we turn on the air in the static bed so the, the media is now churning okay so we let that churn for five minutes then we turn on the flow of water to the moving bed and turn off the flow of water from the fish tank so by diverting the flow from the moving bed from the fish tank inlet and then diverting it here the flow is now reversed okay so instead of the the waste going from inward to outward, the waste now is going from outward to inward. So that prevents the waste from exiting to the outer uh, sump, okay? So let's now assume that the media is now churning for five minutes. So after five minutes, we lift the standpipe over here. We set this aside first here, and then we drain it here, okay? So it now drains to the hydroponic sump. Okay, we drain it a little bit for around uh, uh, 30 seconds or when it reaches one fourth of the filter. So before this overflows, we cut off the flow. So all the solid waste from our filter now goes to the hydroponic sump. And in this hydroponic sump, we provide air so that waste will be mineralized and distributed to the hydroponic part. But we'll show you the hydroponic part later, okay? Now, as you can see, the media is now clean. All the muck has been uh, drained and is uh, distributed to the hydroponic sump for mineralization there. And now we place back our standpipe. So let me look for the hole. So there. It takes a little practice to find the hole. There. Okay. Now, the flow of the fish tank now we turn on the flow from the fish tank. So by turning that on, the flow will resume here. We turn this off. So we turn off the reverse flow or reverse uh, 
valve. And then we now turn on the MBBR. And then we turn off the static. Okay? So by doing that, you you self-clean the filter, the DuraFlow Mini, and uh, the waste here is mineralized in the hydroponic part. So the DuraFlow Mini has an exit to a, to a sump over here. So this is the, the exit of the sump. Let me turn the, return the cover. Okay? So it exits here, and it goes to our uh, sump over here. So this is the rest sump. The rest sump is not connected to the hydroponic sump. So it has its own fill, uh, pump. So this is the small pump over here. The pump is small. It's around 40 watts. And it now delivers the water back to the fish tank over here. And uh, it's diverted also to the filter over here. Okay. We also have a digital sensor. So because the rain shelter is not yet installed, we added a temporary plastic. So the, I don't know if you can read it, the TDS is 340, 340, the pH is 6.9, and the temperature is 27, I, I can't, uh, let me see if I can read it, sorry, 21, 21 degrees Celsius, okay? So that's the TDS for the RAS part, okay? And now if we go now to the hydroponic part over here. So again, we provided nutrients by the dump valve or the drain valve of the filter over here. And then it now goes here for remineralization, okay? And we have two hydroponic sumps over here. So this is sump number one and sump number two. In sump number two, we have a pump. So this is the pump of sump number two. So this pump is slightly larger than the uh, pump in the RAS part. So this is a, a 55 watt pump and that's a, around a 40 watt pump, okay? So we need a pump here to recirculate the, the water to the gravel beds over here. So let's go to the gravel beds over here. So in this gravel bed, we have an inlet over here. We can see uh, after a month, uh, we can now see the tomatoes growing, some alokbati, some uh, okra. I think this is bitter gourd. And over here, we also have some uh, okra. It's now fruiting. Some tomatoes and some eggplant over here. And here we have some chili. Uh, some mint cuttings. Tomatoes. And over there, we have the, some lettuce. And the tomatoes over here are now fruiting. So let's go here. Let's see. So we have some flowers and we have some fruits. So in the future, they will add the trellis that will lead on the roof over here to uh, support the tomatoes when they're now fruiting. So here we have lettuce, no, very uh, nice and big lettuce over here in the gravel bed. So in the gravel bed, we have a bell siphon. So this is a bell siphon. It's now in the... Uh, fill cycle the drain cycle just ended so this is a new design of our bell siphon uh, it's a very basic uh, two inch uh, pvc pipe with an end cap and then we have a strainer over here and then the drain the bell siphon will now drain to our sump back to our sump over here okay so in our sump we have lettuce uh, these are romaine lettuce they're all floating on rafts no so as you can see, the roots are white and they're only floating on the deep water culture bed. No? So they, there's no soil over here. Okay, so let me put this back first. And then we also provide aeration with uh, via an air hose and an air pump. Okay, so let me place this back. So the gravel bed over here is mirrored on the other side so again we have a mirror image of the gravel bed here let's go to the gravel bed here so the gravel bed here has some pet chai some uh, tomatoes as well some alokbati okra here we have uh, talong seedlings 
And here is an oregano, some chili, and here we have a water spinach or kangkong, no? So, uh, in a span of one month, uh, this system is already producing. So the nutrient level is still low, uh, but in a in in a month or two, uh, the nutrient level will go up and supply all the ten row beds with enough nutrients to grow, no? So here we also have a BSF pod. So the BSF pod is, pod is newly started, so uh, we can see some eggs already on the side. So some flies. And in a few months, the BSF fly will smell this uh, decomposing uh, waste and it will lay its egg and then produce the larvae, okay? So in the next videos, we'll show you another uh, system we are building here. So we're not just building aquaponics here, we're also building an odorless chicken coop. So follow me. So follow me here. So in the future, or in the future videos, we will show you a walkthrough of this uh, odorless chicken coop. So at the bottom, we have the vermi bin and at the center, we have our layers over here on this side and our meat type chicken on the other side. And they are now installing the trusses for the roof. Uh, and in the future, we will add uh, plastic flooring like the ones you see in the dogs here. Plastic flooring and some uh, dried material such as the uh, rice straw you see over there. No? So let's now go back to the system, to the aquaponic system for a recap. So again, to recap the system, this is a decoupled aquaponic system. It's already a month old. So we have the RAS component over there. And then we have the hydroponic component over here. Uh, so this is decoupled, meaning the RAS component is independent from the hydroponic component. We do that so we don't have uh, problems balancing the pH. No? So the pH of the rice component can be high at around 7 to 8. And the pH of the hydroponic component can be as low as uh, 5 to 6.5 uh, pH. Okay? So when, the, when we dump the nutrients from the rest part, uh, it goes to the hydroponic part and it's mineralized in the sump. And then... Uh, we top up the RAS component with uh, aer aerated city water, okay? So we aerate it to get rid of the chlorine, okay? So, and in the future videos, we'll show you the chicken coop, no? The odorless chicken coop. The secret to the odorless chicken coop is the rice straw we have stuck over here, okay? So, again, if you have uh, questions about aquaponics, uh, BSF pod, uh, odorless chicken, don't forget to like, share, subscribe the Madodo channel on YouTube. Comment, uh, comment down if you have questions. Uh, we'll try to answer all your questions. Uh, we receive a lot of comments every day, so it's hard to answer. We'll try to answer your uh, questions in future videos. We'll try to make videos uh, about your comments or about your questions. So keep uh, commenting on the video so we can plan future videos to answer those uh, comments, okay? So again, in the future videos, we'll show you the odorless chicken coop and the BSF pod over there, okay? So don't forget to hit the notification bell. Uh, when you subscribe, you also have a Facebook page, Modular Aquaponics. Uh, if you want to contact us, uh, you can contact us through Facebook or Instagram. Uh, don't forget the uh, Madodol channel. So again, thank you for watching.